It's time for Defending and Commending the Faith with Joe Mott, inviting the atheist, agnostic, and skeptic to examine for themselves the evidence for the Christian faith. We are all limited by what we do not know and by the things we think we know but are not true. Dr. Joe Mott earned his Ph.D. at LSU and was a distinguished math professor at Florida State University for 38 years, helping to write three math textbooks and authoring over 30 research articles in math. He is now the host of this radio program, Defending and Commending the Faith. Here is Joe Mott. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the program. I'll begin today by discussing the Holy Book of Islam, the Quran. Norman Gosler and Abdul Salib say in the book Answering Islam, quotes, The Quran is the foundation of Islam. No adequate knowledge of Islam is possible without a basic understanding of the Quran. Although belief in all divine scriptures is a major Islamic doctrine, the Quran holds the prominent place among all other revealed scriptures. End quotes. The Quran is organized into 114 chapters or surahs. The central miraculous Islamic claim concerns the divine inspiration of the Quran. If it could be established that this book was supernaturally received by Muhammad, then Islam would be powerfully supported. However, there is insufficient evidence for this claim, given that the Quran contradicts well-established facts of history, such as the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus and there are erroneous claims that the Bible has been corrupted. Islam claims the Quran replaces the Bible as God's revelation. There is no evidentiary reason to deem the Quran is divinely inspired. The central proclamation of Islam, called the Shahada, is, quotes, There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is its messenger, end quotes. Roughly 1.5 billion people around the globe have made this proclamation, which initiates a person into the Muslim faith. In the book, Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus, Nabil Quresh records a Muslim missionary who said, quotes, Neglecting the Shahada makes you non-Muslim, Reciting the Shahada makes you Muslim. For some time, Islam has been the second largest religion on the earth. Christianity still remains the first. However, Douglas Gruthius in his book Christian Apologetics has said, quotes, If the present trends of Western secularism multiculturalism and Muslim migration into Europe continue, Europe is likely to be a largely Muslim continent within several decades. Islam may be the fastest growing religion, owing largely to the high birth rate among its followers, its global vision for the expansion of Islam, and the intense social pressure to remain a Muslim. In traditional Sharia law, the penalty for converting away from Islam is death. Moreover, in some Islamic nations, a person can be penalized or even put to death for blaspheming Muhammad. These are surely disincentives to investigate other religious claims, voicing doubts of Islam, or defecting from Islam to Christianity, end quotes. We use the word orthodox, but in any religion, very few versions of the religion are purely orthodox. Douglas Gruthius lists six Muslim doctrines and practices of orthodox Islam, 
These are their fundamental beliefs called the six articles of faith. First, Islam insists that there is absolutely one God whose name is Allah. Allah is the Arabic word referring to God, the Lord, and according to the Quran, to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that is, to the God of the Bible, Yahweh. But that means the Muslims are identifying Allah with Yahweh. Islam claims Allah is a personal God, the creator, lawgiver, and judge of the universe. This may be closer to the Jewish concept of God, but differs markedly from the Trinitarian Christian conception of God. The Quran repeatedly asserts God's absolute oneness, thus ruling out the possibility of another being sharing his sovereignty or nature. So, in Islam, neither Jesus nor the Holy Spirit can be accepted as God. Yet, in Christianity, the Father God graciously gives the Holy Spirit to believers out of his own volition and without any compulsion to do that. Why did God do that? Jesus said, I will pray the Father will give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. That's found in John chapter 14, verses 16 and 17. In Islam, the Holy Spirit is supposed to be the Archangel Gabriel. Addressing Christians and Jews, the Quran declares, quotes, Our God and your God are one, end quote. That's found in Surah 29, verse 46. Many mainstream Muslims would generally agree that they worship the same God that Christians or Jews worship. The Quran declares that Allah is the creator of the universe, and the Bible says that Yahweh is the creator of the universe. Thus, the religions of Judaism, Islam, and Christianity believe there is only one creator. This would suggest three religions are worshiping the same creator. Though Muslims and Christians can describe Allah and Yahweh in similar ways at times, nevertheless, Allah and Yahweh are not the same God. I have demonstrated that Yahweh, the God of the Bible, is vastly different in character and nature from that of Allah. Allah is not a trinity of three persons and has no son who was incarnate and who took on a human body as a man. But the New Testament openly declares that the God of the Bible is a trinity and Jesus Christ is his son. So these gods, Allah and Yahweh, simply cannot be the same. Therefore, one of them is a false god. I've argued that the miracle of the resurrection proves Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Since Jesus is God, what he declares is true. Since he calls Yahweh his Father, then Yahweh is the one true God and Creator. I conclude then that Allah is a false god. That makes Islam, which worships Allah, a false religion. Douglas Gruthius declares, quote, Era in religion is no small thing, and it can be a matter of eternal consequence. The aim of true religion must be the truth, saving and flaming truth. According to Christianity, Jesus Christ is the eternal cornerstone of reality and truth incarnate, John 14, verse 6. This is no idle claim, but it is backed up by considerable philosophical and historical arguments. 
Christ is, therefore, the only source of undying liberation. To err at this point is catastrophic. While other religions contain elements of truth, they reject the most important truth of all, Christ crucified, resurrected, and offered for the redemption of the cosmos. Therefore, all religions are not created equal. While God will judge every human being justly, neither logic nor scripture allows us to endorse all religions as one or to justify any path except that carved out by the crucified and risen Nazarene, end quotes. Second, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism affirm the reality of finite, immaterial beings angels, and demons. In Islam, two angels list all the deeds of humans, both good and bad. Muslims also believe in the existence of a chief evil spirit known as Satan. Third, some of the prophets mentioned in the Quran are biblical figures including Abraham, Noah, Moses, David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, John the Baptist, and Jesus, who is also known as the Messiah, born of the Virgin Mary, who lived a sinless life, performed miracles, called the Word, and will return at the end of time. Muslims accept these facts about Jesus, but deny his deity, his crucifixion, his resurrection, and say he is not the Savior of the world, nor is he considered to be the Son of God in any literal sense. Jesus is mentioned in the Quran over 25 times as the Son of Mary, the Messiah, the Christ, servant of God, messenger of God, spirit from God, sign from God. In the book, I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist, Norman Geisler and Frank Turek give a quote by Chuck Colson, the former aide to President Nixon, who went to prison over the Watergate scandal. Quote, Watergate involved a conspiracy to cover up. But one of the powerful aides of Pre President Nixon, John Dean, turned state's evidence to save his own skin. And he did so only two weeks after informing the president of what was going on. The real cover-up, the lie, could only be held together for two weeks, and then everybody else jumped ship in order to save themselves, end quote. But every single one of Jesus' disciples, to their dying breaths, insisted that they had physically seen Jesus raised bodily from the dead. They could have saved themselves, but instead no one recanted. Eleven of the twelve were martyred for their faith. The only survivor was the Apostle John, who was exiled to the island of Patmos. Don't you think that if this were a lie, one of those apostles would have cracked before being beheaded or stoned, that one of them would have made a deal with the authorities. Why would they die for a known lie? Fourth, Muslims believe that some of the prophets received divinely inspired holy books. Thus, they accept the Torah, Torah in Arabic, as from Moses, the Psalms, Zabor in Arabic, from David, the Gospel, Injil, from Jesus, and the Quran, from Muhammad, as divinely revealed holy books. The Quran, however, is deemed the final and ultimate authority, having been revealed directly to Muhammad and flawlessly preserved since its inception. Where the Bible contradicts the Quran, as it often does, the Quran is deemed to be correct and the Bible to be in error. Fifth, nearly every chapter of the Quran speaks of the last judgment of Allah 
and speaks far more about hell than of paradise as a reward. Sixth, Allah is absolutely sovereign and views humans as his slaves, not his friends or his servants, contrary to Jesus' view of humans. Allow me to close this episode with this reminder. Exercise daily. Walk with God. Thank you for listening to Defending and Commending the Faith with Joe Mott, a production of Wave 94 Radio in Tallahassee, Florida. If you have any questions or comments for Joe, please forward them to Doug Apple at Wave 94 at this email address, dougapple at wave94.com. And be sure to join us every Monday evening at 6.45 p.m. on Wave 94 and subscribe through your favorite podcast app, Defending and Commending the Faith with Joe Mott.